Look at those helpers over there. <laughs> Okay guys, it is official. I have a crafting slash book corner in our, uh, what do you call it? Dining room. But I love it. It is so much better. I will put a picture of what it looked like before. Don't judge. It was terrible. You can judge all you want. I don't care. But now it's going to look amazing. Ignore the books because those are going to be put away. But this is what it looks like. It's nice and tall. It's like I would say about six foot tall because I'm 5'9", but it's a perfect height to reach into those uh, cubbies right there. And it is a little dark in here. I'll show it in the light better. And then that bookcase is going to be gone. Those books are going to go down there. Okay, everyone, so I have officially organized. I'm gonna go through everything. I'm sorry I couldn't get much. I just got really excited last night and just organized everything. So let's go ahead and see how I organized. So on the top here, which I, I love how it's looking, I think it's perfect. And I only have one knob here so far, but this is the knobs I have chosen. It's a bumblebee. I feel like they go really well with the ones that I could not replace, which was, down here these ones could not replace those so which is unfortunate but at least the bees match and I do these were the favorite ones so I'm gonna go back and buy three more of those so I can open this actually I think with the knob all right so this is the inside and I had to move this shelf up because these two Bibles are too big so I had to move that up but on the top shelf I have my smaller Bibles my uh, Bible garden Bible my I think this is my Journal of the Word uh, New Testament and my large print compact leather Bible. Then at the bottom here, I have my single column journaling Bibles. I have two of those now. Um, I thought I had one more. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I thought I had one more. So I have that one. I have the one that I actually painted the cover, which I do love that one. Then I have my leather one, which is a, an interleaved Bible as pl um, plain pages in between each page of text which I absolutely love and my first ever journaling bible is right here I'm sorry about the uh, video it's still dark today it's very cloudy out <laughs> so that is the first section I'm trying to close it gently down here is my little kind of crafting spot I've got a couple characters here if you don't notice there's there's two chipmunks down up there and then I put a couple of these cute little characters hanging around. I have the Princess Bride here because it didn't fit anywhere and I'm going to be buddy reading that with a friend in the summer and I'm annotating it so it's been out here for like forever. And then my alcohol markers which I love. I love these. They do dry out pretty quickly but I have a cheap set and then I have some of the more expensive ones down here. Very few. Then a couple of sticker books here which yes I do have stickers. So these are actually stickers I got from the Fiction Reader Summit so I'm going to keep putting them in here which I love these. So yeah, that was a lot of fun to add those into a sticker book. And they are removable too, so that's nice. So I have two of those. All right, let's go over to this bookshelf. I have a couple of um, review books. Two of these are for Just Read Tours, and then one was actually from Becca Kinzer. She sent that to me, and I'm currently reading that one. Next two shelves, yes, next two shelves are books from Baker Publishing that I want to review. So. Uh, these are ones that I have not read, so this is a perfect spot in the living room for me to organize. And I also put them by color combinations, so 
there's blue and green up there and then we have orange and yellow and pink down here so all these are Baker Publishing as well and a couple little extra critters and then the last shelf is a mixture of books I've gotten from um, publishers and authors so I will be reading those and two um, notebooks that I'm doing oh and my um, page holder <laughs> didn't have a space for that one okay so let's see down here is let's see I have my my heat tool for paint and stuff then I have some sleeve protectors and I also have my uh, this was my old planner I should put probably put a new planner in there at some point and then in this other drawer here which has much more space I haven't figured out yet but it's got my bracelets which I got these from a fair trade company I've been collecting them uh, I think last year I think or the year before I started collecting these I haven't bought any recently because I, I do have quite a few so I bought some fair trade bracelets then I have my prompt cards both for coloring books which I still need to place for these and my TBR game and then a couple of mica powders earbud case and dice for my game So down here in these two drawers is a combination of coloring books down there with PDF coloring book files and a whole bunch of coloring books. Then up here, um, old planners and Archer and Olive Journal I haven't used yet, colored pencils, markers, um, my last two years of reading journals, and the Bibles that didn't fit any place else, plus a photo album, which I haven't used yet. So this small bookcase I was actually going to get rid of. I was going to I'll uh, give it back to my dad because he made this and put it upstairs, but some of the things that I planned on putting in the other bookcase didn't fit, so I was like, I'm just going to keep it. So I am going to get rid of this. Uh, I don't think I need this. It's just a wooden bamboo box, but it used to have a lot of other stuff in it, but I was actually able to move it around, so I don't think I'm going to keep it. So down here, I've got uh, another marker set. I've got a drawer, drawers of washi tape, so that's all that's in this case is washi tape. So six drawers of that. Two book sleeves, that's all I have. <laughs> I've been very good and haven't bought a lot of book sleeves. Uh, my planner for this year, which I still need to catch it up in. Uh, these are my stamp collection. I do have more stamps than that, so I think I need one more of those. And then I have my um, paint palette. Down here, on the second shelf I can show you, I have my paper cutter, which I hurt myself on a, like last week, uh, a pocket paper maker. Then on this, this one has, let's see, we've got, uh, what, what are those? Those are candles oops, that I won from Misu Andrews. She was doing giveaways for her books, and I won the set of candles. She actually brought them with her when I met her last year. Uh, markers, highlighters, markers again, and more markers. <laughs> then next... Then next over here, I've got more washi tape. These are actually from the washi tape store. They contacted me and I did a, a few videos for them. Uh, Bible tabs, more washi tape. Posca paint pens, love those. And up here is highlighters, uh, gelato sticks, and distress ink crayons. Looks like that's it. So that was my crafting corner. It's kind of still figuring things out but I think it looks a lot better than it did I mean you saw the picture right it was absolutely messy and horrible and it, now it looks way way better I love it so that is that is all organized I am tired from helping to build it I did have a bunch of help so thank you especially dad and mom for helping me build the case because it was a lot of work okay uh update on the book so that I'm reading Love and Tandem. So I went to the Silent Book Club. I'm sorry about the light. I'm trying to block it, but I went to Silent Book Club last night and I didn't have as much fun as I did last month because I felt like I was the only single person there this time. At least last month there was at least one other single person there, but I just was kind of quiet. I did talk to a few people, but I just enjoyed relaxing and I did read Love and Tandem and I did end up try, trying really hard not to laugh because there was some scenes going on there. I'm now on page 70 of the book, so I'm not too far in, but I mean, there's already at least two memorable scenes in the book that are so funny, and I just, I can't wait to continue. And thank you to my friend who, she messaged me over um, in my email and said, 
uh, that Love and Tandem was now an audiobook on uh, NetGalley. And I was like, okay, I'm going to grab that because I do read a lot quicker with that. And because I am going to be pretty busy this weekend, so I need to try to read as many books as I can before the end of the month happens. So, yes, that'll be fun. But th there's a scene where uh, somebody passes away. That part's not funny. But what happens afterwards in trying to find um, somebody to tell about this lady who passed away, that was funny. And just how our two characters, well, I'm sure, are the love interest together. Or how our two characters kind of, I would say, meet again because they do know each other in a different way. They just, uh, yeah, definitely a an embarrassing moment for both of them because of their situations and what went on in their lives so their meet cute was really funny and yeah i cannot wait to continue it so that'll be the plan for today and tomorrow guys so it is official I finished love in tandem today so happy that I finished it just in time to edit and get this video up to you tonight so I really enjoyed it I love the journey that we went on with Charlotte and Zach and it was just a fun time so I don't know if I told you what the story is about but in this one we're filming Charlotte and her her career as a music teacher is pretty much going down the drain. They're going to cancel the music program if she doesn't earn the funds and the school won't do that. So there's this older man that puts up a challenge like every year. Well, this year he tasks a couple to take a tandem bike ride, like I think it's like 500 miles in a certain amount of days. Well, she's like, I'm not in a relationship, but <laughs> she ends up running into her ex's brother as her ex and her her ex's brother's brother's ex. Those two are getting married. So her ex and Zach's ex are getting married. So they're kind of pushed together and she's like tasked to be the maid of honor at her ex's wedding and she's like, you know, that, that whole situation. But then she, uh, as, as kind of a thank you, I guess, uh, he helps her to um, to go on this tandem ride. And they're going to, like, not necessarily fake date because, like, nobody's with them. But they go as a couple. Um, Charlotte's sister, Sophia, actually puts in the application saying, these two would be great for that because she knows her sister needs the money. And so they go off and have this crazy adventure and all these things go wrong during this adventure. Uh, exhaustion, tiredness crazy animals and situations and it was just a fun fun time really really enjoyed it loved the characters as always well not uh, as always becca's only written two books but as always i really enjoy her characters and i can't wait to whatever read whatever she has next i think i'm gonna really enjoy it but i really enjoyed the ride i got to read it in so many different places i got to go to the silent book club with this i had tea with this book like i was just all over the place with this book and really enjoyed it. And I was, you know, people suggested I go on a bike ride, but my body's not built for a bike. I'm sorry. It's just not like, no, just, I have a bad tailbone and a bad back. That was not going to happen, but it was still fun to read about it. My body was sore. Like I'm like I'm talking about it right now. And I'm like, my body's sore. Just even thinking about it. <laughs> like it's just not for me, but I just enjoyed the fun of the story and getting to know the characters and it was a lot of fun. I think it was a mixture of like fake dating with like a little bit of like enemies to lovers. It was a lot of fun. So I want to thank Becca for sending me a copy of this book. She actually sent it to me and I was like, 
thank you, Becca, because like this book was on like my most anticipated list of the year. I'm happy I got to put it in a vlog this week. I hope you enjoyed it as this is an early vlog. So really, really fun. And I hope you pick it up because it's going to be a good time. And now I can put it next to my other book, which you can barely see the yellow cover of her book from last year. So I get to put right next to that one because they're both signed and both, both very much loved. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a reading vlog and fun time vlog. I did a lot, actually, surprisingly, I think, in this vlog from what I'm remembering. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video.